And we are live. All right. Welcome, welcome to the Unlock Your Voice, Volume 2, Mentals, Mandates, and Motherhood. Facebook Live, and I have one of the featured authors with me in studio today, and her name is Lanisha Connie, but she's going to introduce herself in a bit. I would just love to give each and every one of you a hearty, hearty welcome, and if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a minister of God's word, if you are a mom raising children of destiny, you are in the right place. So Unlock Your Voice Volume 2 was birthed from a prophetic word that I received from another author who is actually the forward author of the book. But I'm going to share a little bit more about that because we're actually going to be premiering our interview at the later stage as well. But I wanted to share that this book was birthed out of obedience to God and also the proceeds of the book on launch day will be going to a community book project in South Africa. So that would be a seed to basically fund a project to empower 20 faith-based leaders to become published authors and to change the narrative in their sphere of influence. But today we're going to be speaking about all things mantles, all things mandates. And Lamisha's chapter was I'm going to let her introduce herself and just share with share with you why she wrote what, what she wrote. So Lamisha, welcome and just share with us what is your chapter title and share a little bit of, with us who you are. Yes. Hey everybody. My name is Lamisha Conley. I am the business of midwife. I'm the one who births that that idea that God gave you, you know you need to push it out, but you really just need some help along the way. And so I am that girl that helps you along the way, every footstep, just like a regular midwife. That's my job to push you in the spirit and in the natural. And so my chapter is called, um, It's Time to Walk It Out. And I didn't have any troubles coming up with the title for this because that's what I was, this is what the Lord gave me. He said, it's time to walk it out. And so writing out my story, I'm like, this is what I'm doing. It's time now for me to walk this thing out, the ministry that he's given me so that I can move forward in not only sharing the gospel, but doing the work that he has called me to do. I was already getting equipped for the work of the ministry but now it's like, girl, it's time to walk this thing out. No long, no, it's not any more time to be scared or to feel like you have to do other things before, you know, putting the cart before the horse. No time for that. We, it's time to, to just walk in obedience and to do exactly what he's called me. Ever since then, I've just been spirit, spirit led everything I do. And it's just been amazing. So thank you. That's so awesome. So just to give you a little bit of background, uh, myself and Lemisha met a couple of years ago. We were part of a uh, of another collaborative project and her, her journey was very different then than it is now. And I'm going to allow her to share what I mean by that. But she has grown spiritually, professionally and personally as well because the previous book project was a secular book project. So it wasn't necessarily a spirit-led entrepreneurs, but we were there shining our lights. So I want Lamisha to share 
how have you evolved from that book project to where you are right now? Because you actually wrote a little bit about that in your chapter as well. Yes. Well, um, the beautiful Megan, we were in a previous book project called Ambitious Women Rise, and it was amazing. And it was actually, it had actually come about because I was doing a lot of personal development and I was just ready to share my story on how I had come from one stepping stone to the, to the next. Um, and so this time around, um, it was literally my spiritual journey and um, going from one stepping stone to the next, everything I had done since January 9th, 2022 has been on my faith. This faith walk has not been a joke, y'all. I'm trying to tell you something because when you actually live and walk in faith, you mean your eyes are blown away, but other people's lives are changed in the process. And um, those that did not believe will soon believe. And so, um, and one of the things I had mentioned earlier was how everything is spirit led. And so I literally had, um, we connected again. Well, you know, we've been Facebook presences, but um, we connected by talking more um, not too long ago. And so it was then, I mean, literally just, there was no hesitation because it was all Holy Spirit led from the first conversation to the last. It was just like, of course I'm going to do this. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> and one thing that, uh, one thing that really um, sparked the, the title of my chapter was because you had asked me a question, Megan. You said, why do you even want to do this? And I said, well, Megan, it's because it's time to walk this thing out. Boom! I was like, that's it. That's, that's what I need to share is how from the time that the Lord like renewed my mind, January 9th, 2022, up until now, you know, up until then through now, it, and just the changes that have taken place, my my equipping that I've been getting, and then uh, my spiritual journey along the way has just been, it's been a skyrocket. It's gone like this. Like, you know, how some people's like plane is like leveled out. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, sir. My plane has been going like this the whole time, just been shooting up and up and up, and I have just enjoyed every step of the way. I mean, from just, just been, I've been a vessel, and he's been using me to 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 break generational curses, to uh, change dynamics in my own family, to uh, just being the prophets in my circles, in my circle of, I have just been in the space of time, even today, listen, when I tell you, the warfare has been real. Do you understand what I'm saying? Over the last few weeks, knowing that this is about to happen, this book release is to come out, people's lives are about to be changed by this book and the testimonies that are going to be shared in the book. The enemy is mad and the warfare is real. And so we all, we all, we all, because he ain't gonna have nothing. So we, we, you know, we over what I think is about to come. And so I just want to take it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have it? Uh, God is good. <laughs> As you can hear, Lamisha is. Very, she's got a very outspoken personality and that's one of the values that we have in the project is to be authentic, is to be yourself, it's to, you know, live with joy, the 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 joy of the Lord, uh, the peace of God, um, and, and just having a posture of, you know, of mm -hmm. love, having a posture of um, putting yourself out there, stepping out, being courageous and being bold. Those are definitely what you will find, good good quality content that you will find in the book. 
you will find that uh, the, the women shared about their courageous journeys and their testimonies of how God took them from obscurity and put them in a place, in a place of authority. So, uh, Lamisha, I, you obviously meet some of the other authors as well, and you haven't read the chapters yet. For those of you that's tuning in, my name is Megan Brainers, and we are about to release our brand new book. I've got one of the featured authors with me today, and our book is called Unlock Your Voice, Volume 2. It's called Mantles, Mandates, and Motherhood, and we're speaking about Lamisha's chapter, Time to Walk It Out. So if you are a, a kingdom woman leader uh, or even a male leader, if you are raising children of destiny, you want to get your hands on a copy of this, you'll find either in the comment section or in the description section, there's a link right there. You can click on that link and you'll be able to get updates from us. You'll also be able to get the book at a special, special launch price. So let me should tell me now that the book, is, that your chapter is done, and obviously you being a business midwife, how on, how are you now, um, especially with us doing the countdown to the launch, and you obviously positioning yourself right now, God is perhaps spoken to you about um, some, th some messaging that needs to change, some of your branding that needs to change, because of what is it that you discovered about yourself? before, during, or after you wrote the chapter? Well, one of the things that I was discovering is that um, sometimes I'm loud and boisterous within myself, but that needs to be portrayed to my audience outside of myself. And any um before I had gotten started with the book, and but I wasn't as active, and I was just like, "Man, how do I get more active?" Well, I had to kind of shift my participation and my purpose behind having this unity, and instead of just talking to everybody uh, that might have been in my social media space, I was like, I'm going to bring it to this community that I create so that this is a, a safe space. Number one, we're just renting out here, you know, social media, but when we're going to do um, I think we lost you for a couple of seconds while we're waiting for Lamisha. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to pass it on. We'd also love to answer any of your questions in the comment section as well. If you have any questions in regards to the book, are you back? Yes. Okay, we lost you for a minute. Okay, loud and clear. Go for it. Okay. So once you bring them into a community of your own, this is where your voice is channeled because this is your audience and they can hear you clearly and directly above the noise of, you know, the millions on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or what have you. So bring it, channel them in to your community. So this is something that I had learned along the way. And so that's why I was like, okay, let me just be more um, conscious or intentional. That's what I meant to say. Let me be more intentional about not just being having all of this inside of me and in internal, but I want to be able to channel this into the community. So in my community on Patreon, I have, um, that's where I like, I'm just raw, real, and authentic. You just get the, even the short bits of me, and then you get the long pieces of me if I'm in there for over an hour. <laughs> but that's where a lot of my other content is. And so um, I am, you know, I that's one of the things that I had learned is just, you know, you've really got to speak to 
are people. So once you dive into who your people, who those people are, you speak to them, but you got to bring them to somewhere. You got to collect them and bring them somewhere. So you got to put them in, put them somewhere. And so my place is on Patreon, my mailing list. And so when you're on there, and you know what's up. So let me should tell us uh, with regards to you being mentored for entrepreneurship, right? And also God expanding you in ministry as well. What encouragement do you have for other kingdom women leaders that's wearing all the hats? Um, I can definitely say for, for myself, I... What I've learned is that instead of balancing everything, God has called us to a specific task or function, depending on the season. So for me, I'm really embracing motherhood right now, while I'm also, you know, um, doing entrepreneurship. So yes, it's been, I'm still in transition because I have a newborn and I have to show up, but I'm really giving myself grace when it comes to um, you know, the time that I spend in my business, but also making time for my family as well. So you touched a little bit about that in your chapter. So how has it been for you during the different phases of transition, um, being a mom and then also being an entrepreneur as well? Yes, well, it, um, I would say that it takes balance, but I really want to say more than that, it's really just going to take intentionality because um, like I am going to be entering that motherhood season here in a few months. Like, okay, I'm really going to focus in on what they're, because they're in their different growth stages and I want to kind of be the one to maturate that. And so right now, my focus is in um, fulfilling the mandate. I'm, in, I'm, st I'm still in equipping. I'm fulfilling. I am getting equipped right now, and I will be fulfilling uh, the mandate to go out and to preach the gospel and to share my story with other women so that they can see, hey, you can heal from past trauma. Hey. You can do this thing. I, I consider myself a high achiever. And so when I set myself out to do something, me and Holy Spirit, we're going to get it done. And so um, that's what I think is more than balance. It's going to be intentionality. So I just make sure that in everything that I'm willing to do. If I need to um, put something aside for a moment and that I need to you know, care about the emotional well-being of my child, then that's what we're about to do right now. And there's no point, there's just nothing, you know, to it. That's what I'm doing. And then when it's time to get on the mic, I need to put lipstick, whatever I do, I need to get on somebody's kick. Okay, we just lost Lamisha. So if you have questions, please let me know at the bottom. The last the last thing that uh, Lamisha mentioned was about her how she basically balances entrepreneurship and motherhood. That is important to uh, have emotional well-being emotional well-being needs to be first priority so for me personally I enjoy putting um, time boundaries so if it comes to a certain time then it needs to wait till the next day so I usually have like my urgent I have my not so urgent I have my important and then I'll, I'll have my can wait until later I don't know how many mom entrepreneurs in the room right now but can you resonate with that so i'm super super excited just for the book release so the book will should be live up on amazon by the 14th of march so if you are interested to follow the journey of the rest of the authors we have a, had a little bit of um 
uh, technical issues on Lamisha's side, but if you'd like to come and meet and hang out with the rest of the authors, we're actually going to have some Q&A inside of our Facebook launch group. Yes, we do have a Facebook launch group as well. And you will have the opportunity to see some of the behind the scenes if you are interested to join our Facebook launch group and be a launch champion, then comment mantles and I will send you the rest of the details. So there is a criteria for you to uh, purchase a copy of the book or to leave a review, but we will send that to you. And then come on over and come hang out with us because that is where all the magic is happening. So you will be able, we'll, we've got prize givings in there and we're just gonna have a whole, a whole lot of fun in that launch group. So uh, if you don't have the capacity to join, to be a launch champion, to join the launch group, you can always join the VIP waitlist. That link is in the description. You can click on that and you'll be able to get all the updates from us via email. So as soon as the book goes live, you would be the first one to know and also to get your copy because there will be a limited time for you to get it at a special launch price. So that has been, it's been absolutely amazing. Tomorrow I will be going live again at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that is seven o'clock South African time and I will be in studio with another author and she will be sharing her journey and her chapter and speaking all things mantles, mandates and motherhood as well. If you're watching the replay, please feel free to leave comments, suggestions, leave questions. We're happy to give you feedback, myself and the Unlock Your Voice team. And then, like I said, uh, if you'd like to join the Facebook launch group and be a champion with us, you're welcome to leave the word mantles. Also, lastly, once again, when you do purchase a copy of the book, you are contributing towards a community fund that will go for a leadership project in South Africa, where we will be empowering 20 faith-based leaders to change the narrative in their sphere of influence. This is what God has placed on my heart. This is actually why this project was birthed as well. And then I'm looking forward to um, just partnering with other kingdom builders. So if you are a business woman or man, if you are a pioneer and you would love to sow into a, a project in South Africa, feel free to reach out to me. I would, leave, I would leave some of the details down below and I'll be happy to chat with you as well. So that's it from me, everyone. Megan Brainers, your prophetic book coach, speaker. And I look forward to connecting with you inside the group if you, if you are coming along. God bless everyone.